Hey guys, Logicon here, back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing reviewing an electronic pH balance tester. Let's get into it. Alright, so taking a look at the box now, you can see that inside you'll find uh, pH buffer powder, it looks like, of all different uh, pHs, I guess. The pH tester itself, and an instruction manual on how to actually use and set up your pH tester. Alright, so I read the instructions and it said to put this pH 6.86 uh, solution to let it dissolve into 250 milliliters of distilled water. And I don't exactly know how many 250 milliliters is. Um, it's a little bit more than a cup though, I looked it up. And this is the 6.86 solution in this cup. And this is just tap water, I don't have distilled water. Um, but it should do probably about the same thing uh, in its changing process. Alright, so it is fully dissolved now and in the instructions right here it says to immerse the electrode uh, into the pH 6.86 solution. Um, so I'm going to turn that on now. You can see it's on. I'm going to press uh, put it in here and then press calc and if you can see there, it is 6.58, 6.59, 6.60. Um, it probably has something to do with the amount of uh, water I actually put in it and uh, that it wasn't distilled to start with, so it wasn't a pure seven uh, when it originally started. But I'm sure that the minor difference in it probably seriously doesn't matter in home use and stuff like that. Maybe if you had to have it at an exact um, pH that it would probably matter a little bit more, but in a home environment it shouldn't matter a super big amount. The next step that it said was to immerse it in a pH 4.0, um, so I'm going to put this in here now. That's pH 4.0 and I'll stir that around. All right, so that is mostly uh, dissolved now in the uh, water. So I, I had to rinse this off with water and I'm gonna put this, make sure it's on and then immerse it in here. And this time it's a little bit more accurate. You can see 4.3.98 and if I put it right down here at the very bottom, 3.93. Right as I dipped it in, it was 4, um, see it's 3.96 right now. Uh, it's pretty accurate on that, obviously that little minuscule amount probably doesn't matter. Alright, so I am downstairs at a fish tank now, and I'm going to be testing the pH of this fish tank. So here I'm just gonna lift up this lid, and immerse this into here. Currently it shows it is a pH of... 5.90, 5.85, uh, 8.4, it looks like it's just about the limit at about 8.284, uh, somewhere in that general range. Alright, so I am at another fish tank now, and my dad already pH'd this one, and so he says that it should be between 6 and about 6.2, so I dip this in here, it should be at about there, and it is at 6.2. One five, uh, varying, wobbling a little bit in that range. So very accurate on its part um, since my dad knew what it should be approximately. All right, so as you guys can see, you can tell the pH of a fish tank very well. Um, does it great? Obviously it was right on the spot of where my dad said it should be according to the chart. Uh, he had just put pH stuff in there to let it adjust and this thing knew that it could obviously identify it very quickly and correctly and so that's good if you're looking for a ph tester to buy i would recommend this one by a company called selp like s-e-l-p-h balance so it'd be cell ph balance if you were however you're reading it um it actually works very well and it comes in a nice uh carrying case you can put it back into with all of its other stuff obviously i still have some of this stuff left to uh, recalibrate it if by chance it gets messed up and needs to do that, you can do that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all the new videos I have coming out.